Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to cover another five exam questions for ISTQB foundation exam with explanation and detailed analysis of the questions and how you are going to answer those questions. So question number 36 out of, out of this list. So from this video, you will get from 36 to 40. So let's go to this particular question. So the question says, which work product can be used by an agile team? Okay, so by an agile team to show the amount of work that has been completed and the amount of total work remaining for a given iteration. Now we know that in agile, if you're following scrum, you have iterations which are time box iteration of two to four weeks. Okay. And within these two to four weeks, you get the team picks up the work items that need to be completed. And then during the, during this duration, the work that is being done on those user stories, the team updates the task and keeps closing those, right? So which of these? So what the question is, what exactly in agile team or is being used? Which pro work product is being used to show the amount of work that is completed and that is remaining in the iteration, which is basically you can say sprints as well or iteration. So acceptance criteria, no defect report is something totally different. Test completion report is also completely different thing. It's a completion report to track the amount of work that is completed and remaining in agile. You have the burn down chart, right? So which is basically so, for example, if there are 10 user stories that have been picked up initially in uh, two weeks cycle three are completed so burn down chart will show something like this it will be a chart and then 10 are taken okay so the story points will be marked against these 10 user stories so points will be shown here and as and when the team keeps closing those tasks these are the days basically right so there are say for example you know two weeks so on day one team closed say for example two points then the remaining will be eight and that's how basically the, the graph will look like this is known as a burn down chart okay so burn down chart in agile so this is the correct answer for this particular question okay now moving to the next one you need to update one of the automated test scripts to be in line with new requirement okay so now you are looking for the automation test scripts to be in line with the new requirement you are trying to update it which process indicates that you create a new version of the test script in the test repo now because you are updating it's never recommended that you update or override the same version right so as part of the automation code whenever you're writing you need to version it properly right so what when, whenever there is a versioning system is there that is what that is basically configuration management traceability management no maintenance testing no that's absolutely different thing requirements engineering no so the correct answer is configuration management because say for example you have a script which was version 1 and then you want to update it so you'll create a new version 1.1 one update it and that's part of the configuration management so correct answer is configuration management now you received the following defect report from the developer stating the anomaly described in the test report is not reproducible what you have reported is application hangs up and then it has been rejected so application this is the report so application hangs up after entering test input this in the name field on the new user creation screen tried to log off login with test admin account same issue tried with other test admin accounts same issue no error message received log c attached so you have attached the logs as well contains fatal error notification based on the test case this the number you have specified the application should accept uh, the provided input and create the user please fix with high priority this feature is related to the requirement so you have also mentioned the requirement which relates to this particular test case which is a critical new business requirement right what critical information is missing now they are asking what critical information is missing from this test report that that would have been useful for the developers. So here, if you see in this report, first thing is this is not formatted very well. Okay, but that's fine. The information, most of the information that is there, that is required is there, but there is a critical information that is missing and why, and that's why this defect report has been rejected. So what is missing from here? If you'll see, you'll see expected and actual result. Is expected and actual missing? No, expected and actual is not missing because here you will see that application hangs up after entering this tried with other admin accounts same issue no error uh, no error message received based on the test case the application should accept right so 
expected and actual is present should accept provided input so this is not the correct answer because this information is there references and defect status is also there references are there to the test case and to the requirement okay and defect status they have uh, you, you have mentioned it's the priority and criticality so this is also there then test environment and test item very key information no test environment and test item is there right so c is the correct answer because if you see here out of this whole statement you have not specified which exactly test environment and test item it is what what build version and where exactly this is happening okay so this is the critical information that is missing priority and severity is also there priority is there and you will see the critical business requirement right so priority and severity is also there so that's not missing so only test environment and test item is missing okay so that's how you basically tackle these sort of questions now moving to the fourth question which test activity does a data prep tool data preparation tool support so what test activity does the data preparation tool support so you'll see test monitoring and control no that is not supported by test data prep tool test data prep is basically when you are saying you want to prepare the test data that you are going to use in the test execution when you are actually doing the dynamic testing and executing the test cases what sort of data you will be using so data prep tool will help you to prepare that sort of data test analysis no test design and implementation yes okay so in this test activity test data prep tool is really helpful because when you are designing an implementation you are executing then you need the fabricated test data or test data that is prepared by the data tool to do the execution using that data so c is the correct answer test completion no not at all okay so c is the correct answer for this one okay now the last uh, the last question of this particular video which item correctly identifies a potential risk of performing test automation now this is on the test automation what is the which 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 one of these so one option we have to select what is the potential risk for performing test automation okay so it may introduce unknown regressions in production no test automation doesn't introduce unknown regression so that's incorrect second one sufficient efforts to maintain test wear may not be properly allocated okay so this looks a little close and clear answer that this could be a potential risk this is a potential risk for performing test automation let's eliminate other two and then we'll be clear that this is the correct answer testing tools and associated test wear the c option says testing tools and associated test wear may not be sufficiently relied upon that's not correct because if you're not you you are not going to use any unreliable tool or test wear for the testing right if you are if you know that this is not reliable tool why would you use it so this is not correct as well it may reduce the time allocated for manual testing that's absolutely incorrect so the correct answer is b sufficient efforts to maintain test wear may not be properly allocated okay so that is the correct answer why because this could be one of the potential risk when you are performing the test automation and mostly many projects face this risk that proper allocation proper effort allocation for maintaining the test automation is not allocated and that is one of the risks so the correct answer is b sufficient efforts to maintain test wear may not be properly allocated okay so that's the last question of this particular video and that marks the end of this question or sample exam question set so out of 40 we have covered all 40 with the explanation there are more questions that will be coming up in this particular series so stay tuned there are additional sample papers and questions that i'll be covering with explanation so that will broaden your knowledge and also help you to tackle these exam questions easily so highly recommend going through these videos before you attempt your istqb foundation exam that's all for this video i hope it was helpful see you in the next one thank you